entirely 3D. So mm. unless they have like a 3D artist who works for them already, probably had to outsource this and was probably pretty expensive. Um, and as we all know, just because an app was expensive doesn't mean it worked. Doesn't mean it converted. That's and true. us having it on the show also doesn't mean that it converted or worked. But I think this is interesting to speak about because I think this is a really well-rounded, nice, high-production ad that has a few assets in it and elements that really push it to more towards that this has been thought about when it comes to, like, on platform. Like, I'm sure there's many brands that would have just run the top screen, which is like the the bag sure. flying up in the air. Like, yes. sure, I'm sure there's many, many brands that would just do that and call it a day. But what they've added is like, almost like a skew selection thing at the bottom yes which kind of elevates this to like a social friendly area because you have you know a put portrait is such a brilliant format of ab of um um of aspect ratio and i love that we are in this era now where so much of our uh so much of our content is consumed in portrait and I love that because it gives you so much real estate to be creative with. And this is a great way to be creative with it. Like a lot of the time, the stuff inside a portrait video is probably only taking up like actual real estate, like a square. You could crop it down to a square and it'd be fine. And so they've gone, okay, well, let's not waste that with like a color or a logo. Let's show off the rest of our product range. Yes. Yes. Why not? And this, I, this is that. great. This can work in apparel. You can do this with different skews at the bottom. You can animate this. Like you can just have a single line of the skews and you can have them scrolling through. Like there's a lot of different ways that you could optimize this and show off your, uh, you know, show off your product range. And I think they've done it really nicely. They've done some really lovely, like, you know, 3D stuff where halfway through we cut to a different shot and we actually show how this works in action that it can slip onto your travel um onto your travel handle of your bag i think it's really nice and i think it's been it's been really thought about which is really important for this style of ad creative yeah it, it, it's incredibly intentional and that's the thing that i'm glad you called it out because i was gonna if you didn't the fact that they show effectively what kind of looks like the shopping catalog that you see at the bottom of facebook ads anyway yeah sometimes. Exactly, yeah and like including that right away like what i love about that so let me talk about one of the biggest misconceptions people have with ads they think if i'm running an ad to this product that's what people are going to buy mm -hmm. and i can assure you that if that's your assumption you are missing a very big part of how people shop yeah like getting somebody in the door with something doesn't mean they're going to leave with that same thing I, one of the things i tell people to do all the time is build out custom conversion events for all the different cattle all the different uh, product catalogs you might have all, all the different uh verticals you might have all the categories that you might have yeah. or if you have a smaller skew like if these are my eight products i'm gonna have mm -hmm. a custom conversion event for these eight individual skews yeah. and inside my dashboard on facebook i'm gonna see this ads running what are all the skews that it sells because yeah. if I'm clicking on this ad and I go to this landing page, I'm assuming the landing page probably has some beautiful, also very well done, high level, uh, you know, landing page uh, that's got this at the top. And then right below it, hopefully, is all of these similar products. So like, if yeah. I liked the backpack, but I didn't want the bag, but I saw it in this ad, I click on it and then immediately can go to that and then move forward. Mm -hmm. And we have to think about ads are really good at conditioning consumer behavior and expectation but it yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be to do a lot of times there's incidental behavior or things that we didn't plan on and, and things that were not necessarily part of the design that really come in and i love the fact that they took that instead of having that be incidental not part of the design it was brought into the intentionality of the design of the creative from the yeah. get and the other thing that I love about this is how easy would it be to also just cut off the bottom and run that as a separate ad unit? Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. You have like straight away, you have a variation built in and you need to look at yeah. how you can implement stuff like that when it comes to, um, to making creative. Listen, I spoke to a massive brand last week and one of the main things that they were struggling with was they couldn't 
they knew they had to start doing variations and they knew they had to do, you know, the usual stuff that everyone's talking about when it comes to ad creative testing, but they didn't know how, and they were really struggling to implement that within their current in-house team because it was such a big mentality switch. Right. Mm. But like you said, then, well, what about if you build 